Hello, Sinners Cry. Welcome back to the episode of Fallout 4. I am overloaded. I didn't actually empty out my inventory. And you will find out shortly why. Thanks for joining us, Nick. I should probably give him some armor. Wonder why they only half completed him. Or if he'll turn on us later. Meh. Oh well. We'll trust him for now. Come on, elevator, take us up. Yes, I know I'm carrying too much. Roof access. Yeah, it takes us to the roof access. Is it terminal? Open door. That thing looks awesome. People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Yes. Okay, no tape you see found. You're carrying too much. Well, let me hop over. Deep into that darkness. This isn't that military frequency. Can't hear anything. Oh, well, we have to go to dance now. Turn that off. Ah, data quests. Shadow of Steel. Report to Paladin Dance. Well, I'm gonna drop off some stuff here. Ooh, gold watch, wonder moon scissors. I'll make my way back here eventually. Unload it. Ooh, and that as well. No, oh, nothing in there. So, be right back in a sec. Okay, we're in Sanctuary. I've unloaded everything. Uh, I really want to go to the Brotherhood of Steel. At the same time, I want to finish up and do a bit more with Piper. So let's head to Diamond City. We'll at least do that for a bit, and then we'll go talk to Dance. Okay, here we are. I wonder where that airship went. Oh, well, let's go talk to Piper. Yes? It's apparently this... right here. Okay. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? Safe. So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. 
He had access. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead? Because he's dead. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Had no choice. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Good idea. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I already have something. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. Uh, hmm. Let's take Piper for a bit. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Okay. I could loot everything in here, but now nah, this is all Piper's stuff. I'm not taking anything of hers. Unless she has a magazine up here. Some stems, fusion cells. Clean tan suit. Yeah, I'm leaving it all. <laughs> Don't knock anything off the table. There we go. Corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens. Ain't but got nothing home. better to do. <laughs> okay. One thing I want to check out. Is that Nick? Yeah. He's probably heading hey, there. Hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking sin. Yeah, he's a good guy. Let's go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Okay. Now apparently somewhere around here there's a magazine. No. And inside there's nothing but garbage. Hell yeah. Because it's Zeta Invaders holotype game. That one worth reading? They're all sterling case file. Let's head back out. Okay, here we are. Now let's head to Good Neighbor. Where was Good Neighbor? Wait, Data? Dangerous Minds. Good Neighbor. I knew it was around there. Huh? Here we are. You're looking to get stoned or stabbed? Memory den, memory den. Memory den. That's what this was, but actually. Quick save. Are these guys still back here? Oh! Nothing to see here! Oh, it's our That's what you get. 
Hey, they jumped me. Let's get this some machine guns. Compensated hardened piercing submachine gun. Not my fault they attacked me. Neighborhood watch. Let's head in. Girls, girls, girls. Don't steal anything. So I'll have to see dinner menu. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. Ooh. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. <laughs> hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Look safe. Hi. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Wait, where is this downstairs? Yeah, here we go. Come on, Piper. Catch up. Dr. Amari? Safe. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Kellogg's brain. I'll let Nick, let Nick explain. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Sarcast. Uh, that's right. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. <laughs> now, do you have it? Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Is not compatible? Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I'm supposed to do. Oh. Teleporter forward. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Way to break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. 
run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Nick and I are going to share a mind? Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son <laughs> now. Um, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Ah, so Nick's taking that one. Piper, wait for me. I'll be right back. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. In we go. Loading. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears Whoa. to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Save. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Do I just walk along the memories? Experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to robotic. Okay, do I keep mm. on going? What a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. So he came in, huh? To go through a door. Turn down the goddamn radio. Where am I supposed to go? What's these are purple? All five states have now signed off. It means that as of this moment, Okay, I can walk across it. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? 
They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay, I'm walking along this one. Killer seemed like an okay guy. Or Connie. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Ouch. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, see what it looks like now. It's connected and unconnected. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. So you can... Is it actually connected? Yeah. yeah. It's these things that connect and hook onto the next one. That's what it looked like. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Damn, he's good. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Oh, look, you can see it connecting, yeah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Oh, no. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. 
On C6, down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <coughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! We have to watch that again. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. I think we're getting closer. Well, of course we're getting closer. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. What do I do? Oh. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I wonder if I could human. have accessed memories like this before. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay.
X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Are you kidding me? Bye. Teleportation? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay, I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? So, yes, next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. <laughs> Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Teleportation? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. Wait, Fate, find someone to help Curie? Bring Curie to Dr. Amari. Nice. Ah. Find Virgil in the glowing sea. Wait. Talk to Nick? Oh. That's time to bring Curie here. Where's Nick? Ah, oh, here he is. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? Guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Uh, Key Piper. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Oh, I thought it froze for a sec. Uh, what to do now? We're nearly out of time. I think I'm gonna see. Ooh, is that? Nah, it just looks like cricket. Probably not cricket. Let's head out. Let me think. Okay, here we are. We're with Piper. I'm gonna keep her for a bit. But I think I want to grab Curie and come back here and see if we can continue uh, her quest line. But we'll have to do that next episode. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. One sec. Oh, okay. I went back and married Den, and I found this. Robco Fun. Excellent. Collect an issue of Robco Fun includes a Grognan the Barbarian holotape oh, game. Take your time. The literate keep me fed. <laughs> So, I'm going to end the episode here. If you like, like, and subscribe. If you don't, don't. But I'll see you next episode where we bring Curie back here. See if we can get started on that. Who knows what else we'll do. So, hopefully see you then. Take care.